My name is Matthew Hershack, and um, for fun, I like to hang out with my kids, my wife, and, and I also uh, participate in martial arts, uh, where I'm an instructor and a black belt. On or off duty, Captain Hershack stays on the go, but years of selfless work and dedication to his activities began to catch up with him. Lower back pain began interfering with his life. Um, my pain started a lot of years ago, um, just at work, a lot of wear and tear, you know, you'd, you'd just tweak something here and there, and, and then about a uh, year and a half ago, it got pretty intense, and um, you know, it, it just became un unlivable at one point. Pain was on my lower back, and it was a burning feeling, it was crampy, um, and it just kind of just hung out in the lower part of my back, just went from the, the whole, le whole left side to the right side, and, and it was just constant and intense, and there was a lot of times where I'd be doing activities and I'd have to go sit down, you know, and stretch out, and, um, but there was a lot of times that there was nothing I could do to make it feel better. The only other thing I was experiencing was my, my left foot. I was getting drop on my foot. So I'd be walking and, you know, I'd trip once in a while and just not really think anything of it. And there's a couple of times I almost fell on the treadmill and not realizing it until I got evaluated that I actually, my foot is dropping because of the pinching of my nerve. So it was interesting to find that out. Like many Benatti surgical guests, he tried different conservative methods to treat his pain before considering surgery. I wasn't on any uh, prescription pain meds because it's something that I really don't believe in unless it's something that's really necessary. And you know, even as bad as my back was, I'm just not a person that would want to take pain meds. So I dealt with it with the ibuprofen. I'd have to take ibuprofen before I go to bed. Um, you know, otherwise I'd wake up and, and be in a lot of pain multiple times a night. Before I found Dr. Bernati, I was doing chiropractic care um, at one of the local chiropractors. Um, and I've been doing that for a really long time. Uh, he's made a lot of things feel better. Um, but the lower back pain just didn't seem like it was going away. So I also, he recommended me going to a sports medicine doctor uh, where they did injections um, and they talked about doing an ablation. I received six injections and they were um, right around the areas that my, I'm having pain and it was in the uh, facet joints. Basically it was a diagnostic injection um, and it took the pain away for a couple days and then it, uh, it came right back. Uh, when the doctor recommended an ablation, um, he explained the process to me and that it was going to be um, deadening the nerves in that area and that it can last anywhere from six months to a year and then I'd probably have to have it repeated. And he mentioned that other patients that have arthritis have it sometimes three times a year. And when I figured out the cost of it and how it was gonna cost over a thousand dollars each time, I said, that's unacceptable. I need to find a way to get rid of this pain forever, you know, as far, instead of just deadening the pain. Feeling certain the ablation wasn't going to solve his problem, Captain Hershack sought a second opinion from the Bonatti Spine Institute. I heard about the Bonatti Spine Institute from a good friend of mine. Uh, he's actually one of my uh, Aikido, in Aikido instructors. And uh, he had had several procedures with Dr. Bonatti and he'd been having great success with it. And um, so he, he was the one that recommended I get a second opinion and uh, try to figure something else out. Prior to going to the Bonatti Spine Institute, um, I had submitted all my information, an advocate had contacted me, and then uh, while I was at the gym, Dr. Bonatti personally called me and uh, went over my chart and kind of laughed. He was like, you know, oh, you're, you're pretty young to have, uh, you know, pain like this, you know, what's, what's going on? And, uh, you know, I explained to him, you know, working at the job and this and that, and, you know, I, I appreciate how he took the time to call me. Um, I appreciate how he was very open and honest about how an ablation wasn't going to work and he in fact even said that if I got an ablation it would probably last a week and I'd be back in pain. He says that's not the area where you're having pain. He says your, your pain is your, your discs and, your, and, the, and the nerves coming off your spine. He says it's not the facet joints. He scheduled his consultation knowing the staff at Benatti could fully eliminate his pain, not just offer him a band-aid. I was really really impressed how everything is on campus. You know, all the imaging and, you know, all the surgeons are right there and, and nursing staff and, and it was very cool just to go through that whole entire process. The surgeon that I met with uh, when I went to the Institute, it was Dr. Granati. He was a very cool gentleman. You know, he came in the room and, and he put my chart up on the screen and, and he says, you know, I'm going to go over where you're having pain, where I think you're having pain and, you know, what we're going to do and, and, you know, let me know if that's where you think you're having pain, you know, and he kind of went over the chart and 
explained to me what he's, what he's seeing in the MRI and, and he goes, this is where I think you're having the issue. And I was like, yep, dead on, that's where I'm having it. I felt like so confident at that point because this guy knows he's talking about because that is exactly where I'm feeling my pain. You know, this is what I'm experiencing. Um, and, and it felt very reassuring that it wasn't just me saying, you know, hey, this is my pain. And he goes, well, it could be this or that. You know, it felt very reassuring that, you know, he knew exactly where the issue was. Captain Hershack had one multi-level procedure at L4, L5 and L5S1. Before my procedure, they explained to me the conscious sedation part of the procedure. And I just thought that was fascinating because, you know, most people, they go into surgery and they're out and then they wake up and the whole surgery is done. But this is, they were letting me know that, you know, you're kind of going to be like in a twilight state. We're going to wake you up and, and uh, you know, we're going to have instruments in your back and, and you'll be awake for that and aware and able to answer questions for us. And we want you to let us know whether you're feeling pain in your back or feeling pain in your leg. And I don't know if they were pulling on nerves or what they were doing, but they, they touched one spot and I went, oh, leg, leg, leg. And, and then, uh, then they touched my back and I went, oh, that's my back. You know, so, but then once they told me to arch back up, I just put my hands on a table and propped up and, and didn't have any discomfort in my lower back. It was all gone. My pain was gone before I even left the operating room. When I was in the recovery room, um, they had me get up and walk. And I walked from one end of the room to the other and um, the doctor actually stopped me and said, you know, why are you walking like that? And I said, like what? And he said, you know, I don't know, walk heel to toe, put your back up straight, you know, stand up straight. And that was something I wasn't able to do for a while. Um, and it was a very emotional experience, you know, knowing that, wow, I can actually walk the right way. My back doesn't hurt, you know, and, and that was a big eye opener, big, big emotional eye opener for sure. The Bonatti Spine Institute has been fortunate enough to help people like Fire Rescue, professional athletes, and law enforcement get back to their physically demanding careers. Should you be suffering with chronic pain, Captain Hershack has a piece of advice. Don't wait. You know, it's kind of scary when you're you're working in a field and you wonder if a back injury is going to, you know, take you out of work, you know, so you, you can't do your job and now I'm able to do that job. Martial arts is one of the things I love and a lot of times the pain would be really bad and I wouldn't be able to perform like I need to and um, just going to class and then coming home, I'd be in agony laying on my bed, um, but I would push through it and, you know, deal with it. But definitely since all that pain is gone now it's been a great improvement in my life i think if somebody's suffering in pain like i was you know don't hold out don't get stuck you know taking pain pills and and you know you got to go get it fixed if it's something that's able to be corrected it's worth the time to go in there and get it done